the scientific name for pineapple, Ananas comosus. Its family name, Bromelisia. Pineapple is a perennial tropical plant. There are three main ways to propagate a pineapple plant. Today's video is about which propagation method works best and bears fruit the earliest. Keep watching and find out more. There are three main areas on the pineapple plant that can be used for propagation. First, propagation by pineapple crown. One. Two. Off with your crown. To remove crown from fruit, just grab and twist. The crown forms one area of propagation for the pineapple plant. It can be easily sourced from any store-bought pineapple fruit. The crown may be planted as it is or it may be rooted first before planting. As rooting the crown before planting gives it a better chance of survival. For easier rooting to take place, rip off 5 to 10 layers of the leaf from the base of the crown. The roots will then develop from the base easily. I find ripping the leaves vertically is difficult and does not come off easily. Ripping the leaves should be done sideways as it comes off easily then. The roots will now develop from this portion of the crown. Cut off the bottom end of the crown which was attached to the fruit. Now simply leave this base end of the crown in a glass of water. Rooting might take 5 to 7 weeks. After 3 weeks, the crown showed good root development. After 2 months, root development was enhanced even further. However, growing pineapple plants from the crown is a slow way of growing pineapples. It might take at least 2 years for the plant to flower and another 6 months for the fruit to mature. However, Growing pineapple plants from suckers and slips is much quicker. Suckers and slips grow up and fruit much faster. Unfortunately, we have to just wait for the first crown-grown pineapple plants to produce such offspring. The second method for propagation is using pineapple slips. The slip is another area on the pineapple plant for propagation. Slips are unique as they are little plantlets that grow right at the base of the fruit stalk. Some pineapple varieties produce many slips, whereas some none at all. After fruit harvest, it is much easier to cut off the slips from the fruit stalk. Slips take 18 months to grow and bear fruit. After I snapped off the slip from the fruit stalk, I placed it in a bucket of water. Even after two weeks, there was not much of a root development. So, I removed a few layers of leaf at base of the slip to encourage rooting. Rooting is much easier when the leaves are removed. The slips are prepared in the same way as the crown for rooting. Now, the slip has a good sized thumb to stick it into the soil so they remain stable once planted. As my ground was not ready, I left the prepared slip in a pail of water. Surprisingly, the slip showed further root development. The pineapple slip has a greater chance of survival now. The third way for propagation is by using pineapple suckers. Suckers are little plantlets that grow from the base of the mature mother plant. Suckers are the best propagation method to grow pineapples. This is because growing pineapples from suckers will only take 14 to 15 months instead of the two years to harvest. A single pineapple plant flowers only once and produces only one pineapple. After fruit harvest, it is best to remove the whole mother plant and replant with suckers or slips. Suckers and slips grow up and fruit much faster. From this pineapple plant, I have only got a single sucker. 
This sucker is much larger than the slip that grows from the base of the fruit stem. I tried rooting the sucker as it is in a bucket of water without removing its bottom leaves. This is the result I get after two weeks. Miniscule roots. Now I know the importance of removing the base leaves for better rooting. The sucker is prepared in the same way as the slip or the crown for rooting. The stump will give it extra stability when planted. These are the three areas on the pineapple plant that I am going to use for planting today. This is the sucker, this is the slip and this will be the crown. So sucker, slip, crown. This sucker, I have kept it in a bucket of water for three weeks for it to root. I have already prepared this ground for planting the pineapple plants. Now I am going to plant this sucker into the ground. Press the soil firmly around the roots. I am going to plant the pineapple slip now. Press the soil firmly so it remains stable. Both the sucker and the slip are now planted. Now the crown, planting it over there. Again, press the soil firmly so the crown remains stable in the ground. The job is done. This pineapple plant I planted from a sucker. Very quickly, it grew into a big plant and flowered after one year. It's an amazing sight to watch pineapple bloom. The bloom is of a brilliant color, purple and red. Growing pineapples is indeed a pleasure. Now, I will show you some of the stages of the pineapple fruit development. After two months, the fruit was still in its initial stage of development. After three months, fruit development was noticeable. However, the crown remained small. After four months, fruit had increased in size. There was a noticeable development of the crown. After five and a half months, pineapple looking so majestic with its crown. However, the fruit was tipping to one side as it got heavier by the day. I used a stake and a pole to support. The fruit was not ready yet to pick. As it was not ripe yet, the fruit will be ripe when it turns from dark green to orange. I had to increase my support system many fold. In spite of all the additional life support, its weight finally took a toll. The pineapple fell to the ground after a big storm. Now for a closer look. The fruit was in good condition, however, it was only half ripe. Moreover, there were no obvious damage because of the fall. After all, I am happy with this much of ripening of the pineapple fruit. I decided to give the fruit a taste test. But first, I have to cut off the two ends and prepare the fruit for eating. After peeling the outer skin, the eyes have to be removed individually. The fruit was perfect inside. Slice the fruit into small portions. This for me to taste. So sweet, so juicy. The fruit was so sweet and so juicy. I kept on eating. No words, enjoying. That's all my friends. Thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel.